Now that we've seen how to create a .mat file from the SPM GUI to run a job, we can also do the same thing from the command line using the SPM jobman command. So there are three different options you can do with this. There's the interactive command, which will just bring up the GUI like it would before. There's the serial command, which will walk through each step individually and then run the job. And then there's the run uh, option, which will just run the job from the command line. So right now we are going to move this test.mat to slice timing.mat just to make it more clear what it references. All right. So we can use SPM job man, and then the option is going to be, let's say, interactive. Let's test that one first. And whoops, first of all, I need to load the slice timing.mat file. And recall again, this job structure has all of the fields it needs to run a slice timing correction job. All right, so this is all filled in. And so if we do this with the SPM job man command, can call upon interactive and the next argument is just going to be jobs which has already been filled in here jobs are very important okay so again you look at the graphical user interface and you see that it's loaded it just as if we had loaded it from using this command right here okay so that's one way you can use spm job man the other one is serial where you can review each of these jobs one by one so first it's going to ask you what data do you want? That's all fine. And then you can click done when you're done with that. Recall that all these defaults are going to be what you filled in here when your job structure. So 35 is fine. RTR2 is fine. That's a fine TA. Slice order looks good. And reference slice also looks good. So click done. And click done again. And then it will run just as it would before if you're running it from the GUI. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. So that's the interactive and the serial component of the SPM job man command. And essentially it's just calling upon the GUI but filling it in with everything you put in from the command line. So if you've already had your job structure filled in and you want to just run it from the command line, you can go ahead and use SPM job man and the run option and then your jobs structure. Okay. So really that's all there is to it. And if you want to run a separate job, what you can do is, let's say we have this realign.mat file, which contains a realign job. Okay. To do that, we can clear our current jobs variable and load this realign.mat file. Okay. Now notice that this new jobs structure has this spatial attribute to it. We look within that, and it's realign. Okay. Keep spidering down. Okay, you can see that now it has all these other fields filled in, such as the estimate options and the write options, or realign options, and these are a bunch of defaults that I filled in from the GUI. But, so that's how you load a different job, and then you can use SPM job man to run that as well. Okay, so now it's going to re run realign. And you can see it going on right here. Okay, so that's the SPM job man command, and it's a very useful tool to have whenever you're writing up a batch to run everything from the command line. You can imagine filling in all the different fields with for loops or with different if-then statements. Really it's as you please and it's much easier to do that and to make everything consistent across subjects than it is to point and click for each subject using the graphical user interface. So I hope that's helpful and I'll see you guys next time.